Oh wow, hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Depp. I sleep in a bed made of caca. Okay? By the way guys, the mainstream media has blown that thing completely out of proportion. That lady was helping Johnny Depp uh, prepare for a role as a pirate. Because pirates, they all had scurvy and diseases. And she was like, I'm going to help out. There's really only one thing we could say about it. What a pervert. What a, what, a, what, a, what a pervert. So guys, you know how we do on this channel. Every week we go, we look, hey, what's the stupidest crap that I can find on YouTube? Let's find some real dumb. Let's find some people with huge followings. Like people who get a, like a quarter million views every day. Or a million. It's somehow very popular and the stupidest things you've ever seen in your life. So let's take, let's take a look, man. So that leads me to what just happened with Netflix. One, one day, okay, their stock drops 39%. They lose over $50 billion in a day, folks. Wow. We're not talking like, you know, $50 billion in a year, and that's a lot of money. In what? a day, Jeez. they lose $50 billion, $52 wow. billion. But let me read this to you, this article. Okay, so. So, yeah, this is what these guys are all worked up into a pant frenzy. All right, about this week, which is Netflix stock has been kind of like <laughs> going down for, for a while. And a couple days ago, it, it had a sharp, pretty sharp dive there in one day. And these guys all think, <laughs> they all think that the like, the main reason for this is a show. <laughs> They're convinced it's going down because of a show that was uploaded on Netflix called I'm Expecting. 50年ほど前、世界各地で男性妊娠の報告が相次ぎました。平山さん、あなたは妊娠しています。え、妊娠。オッケー、完璧だな、平山。ありがとうございます。So this is a Japanese science fiction program about this is a this is the world this is the world of wokeness a science fiction movie in a world set in the future where there's some kind of a science crap happens in Japan where men can get pregnant and I'm telling you this is the world things weren't like this back in the early 90s there's the feet and the hands this can't be happening but it is That little string of pearls. It's the spine. the spine, yeah. Oh my god, I'm having a baby. And I can't, I can't do an Arnold, sorry. I got that, I'm having a baby. Then they're wondering why they're losing $60 billion. And on top of that, the shows they're coming up with lately, yeah. right? Yeah. You got one show here which shows what? This is this the show of uh yeah. it's which called he's called? expecting he's oh, expecting oh it came God. out today right, I do out. believe right <laughs> today or yesterday what? this, this is really it's came out today they're fucking sharing yep. passwords not because yeah, this dude is yeah because you're exactly wait a minute. Because is this, Lulu has did black this really come out no yeah. I'm, I'm curious it came out today yeah today or yesterday you yeah. know what this means if this came out today or yesterday millions of people just said we don't want to watch this kind of show 100% 100% so so this guy's one of my this guy's one of my favorite YouTubers this guy's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's been on Joe Rogan. This guy's been on Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan could have anybody he wants. <laughs> I love that Joe Rogan could have any guest that he wants. And he's like, hey, I want to have a guy who scammed a bunch of people with a multi-level marketing uh, company. This guy. And now he has a YouTube channel where he pretends to be a business guy. This is one of these woke... I think they do. I think they think that's why they're calling it woke or whatever. They think it's like a transgender show when it's literally them doing like a sci-fi bit that has been done a million times where, oh, a guy got pregnant. Can you believe it? I think that's why I love this guy because he's just like he went right from the like just old school grift of like multi-level marketing into the like conservative YouTuber scam. But if you look at this, Netflix people unsubscribing and the stock price going down and all this crap. There's so many, I mean, Netflix had to pull out of Russia, which is one of the reasons they give. They have more competition now. We're post-vaccine, so less people are staring at the TV, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, it's kind of interesting. You could see like pandemic uh, era here, you know, oh, hey, hey, I don't want to get disease. So it starts going up. This is an interesting spike here. 
I bet you could guess what happened here. Squid Game. Squid Game was released around this time. And now, now it's doing this. January 14th. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that huge drop right there. Must have been something woke happened there. But uh, what's important it's for this, for me making fun of these guys, what's important is that it's been going down for since late 2021. But what's funny is that this guy seems, he, he's like, oh, this seems like a, this seems like a reasonable reason to unsubscribe to a streaming what, crap. But they have to fix it. Right. But just, you can't do this, Bo. You got a great platform, right. yep. great technology. Yep. You kicked everyone's ass and you make this stupid of a mistake because 0.1% yeah. of the audience is complaining? Yep. Are you yeah. out of your that, mind? That's how so, I mean, who knows? Maybe there are a bunch of like, you know, Ben Shapiro, Tim Pool fans on, t on uh, whatever this crap is, Netflix. And they look and they see, oh, that's trans. Unsubscribe. I mean, I would hope that these the people the people who watch this crap, who watch this stuff, these tough these tough guys who watch this stuff, are not so triggered. There are like seventeen thousand movies and shows on Netflix. I would hope that they see one poster to a gag sci-fi show. I mean, they see that with tears tears filling their eyes from seeing that poster. They're like. They got a brown stain on the back of their pants, you know, immediately when they saw that cover image, when they saw that cover art, their hands were, their hands were shaking. They were so upset. Their hands were shaking to unsubscribe to Netflix. And then the stock went down. So just because I'm so committed, <laughs> I'm so committed like this. And I'm, I'm calling bluff. I'm, I'm, I'm calling bluff. Just because I'm so committed to uh, being mean to these people on YouTube, I subscribed. I resubscribed to Netflix. <laughs> and look at this woke programming. The Dave Chappelle, uh, all on the front page, Dave Chappelle, Squid Game, Don't Look Up, Narcos, Mindhunter, The Irishman. Here are the top shows. A show about selling houses. Uh, a, John, a thing about John Wayne Gacy. I don't know what this is. Oh, another reality crap? Another Bachelorette style crap? Anatomy of a Scandal? Bridgerton? And another reality show about uh, getting married. Married at first sight? <laughs> I would do it. Ozark? Breaking Bad? Steinfield? One of the most woke shows ever. Filled with trans woke... <laughs> Naruto. Now that is, that is, I'm Naruto. I go by she, she, shim. Like these goofballs are just in a uh, a bubble, you know, giving these people what they want to hear. But one of the actually interesting uh, little theories I heard about this, and of course it's a it's a bunch of crap. You would have to be a moron to believe what these guys are saying. But another interesting theory I heard is that because there's so many streaming platforms now, and pe people want to watch little different tick 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 on there, like oh I want to watch. Oh, I want to watch Baby Yoda on this, and then I want to watch whatever crap on that, Billions or something, that people are like, you know what, I don't want to subscribe to every one of them. They're just pirating the crap and just getting what they want because they don't want to be subscribed to 20 things. What do you think, what do you think is the, uh, uh, do you have a son or, or you son, son 73, right? 70. By the way, this video is called Why Millennials Have Forgotten What It Means to Be a Man. Three, he's born 73, she's 68. Yeah. Okay. So the son that's 73, he asks you that, uh, what do you think is the purpose of a man? And like, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? Like, if one he of the, were to you? pose yeah. that question, I would say, hey, Dumbo, look at your grandfather. Imitate that. In fact, I think I've said exactly that. Your grandfather is a model of what a man should be. Why? Because he was unyieldingly tough, resourceful, highly intelligent, honorable, fought in the Foreign Legion, got my mother out of Germany, got my mother out of France, crossed the Pyrenees on foot, made a new life in the United States. And that same grandpa, when he came back from World War II, when he came back, he saw a movie poster that he didn't like, probably Jane Mansfield movie or some crap. He instantly burst into tears. I mean, we're talking code red diaper change. 
He needed a code red diaper change, okay? Had to be put down in a crib for a couple. He needed a string cheese. <sighs> These millennials, man. These millennials. They're babies, bro. You know, I, wanna, I don't want to joke about that stuff. My grandfather actually lost a leg in World War II. It was from his own gun. He was a terrible shot. You got to love these guys, though. They sit around all day <laughs> on these ridiculous podcasts that Joe Rogan will inevitably boost and get you a million views. Sit around all day, t grabbing their own tukuses, talking about men used to be manly men. Meanwhile, I will panic. I'll go into a panic if one of the 17,000 movies I can watch uh, has a, th a thing that I, I won't even bother to look into what the movie or show is about. But just the, the tiny little thumbnail image will so upset me, will so set me off that uh, unsubscribe. Uh, not only unsubscribe, but I'm going to have a, a real bitch fest on my podcast about this tomorrow. I can't watch Better Call Saul or Ozark or 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 the million like here's a show about orangutans or or my favorite the show where those japanese kids go by themselves to like buy uh sandwiches or whatever i can't watch all those other shows because i'm so <laughs> by that by that one thumbnail. <laughs> There's a little bit of conflict here between the image of a tough guy uh, and all the and all the other crap that you're saying, you nerd, you adult nerds. Literally, literally, that's on YouTube. And if you want to check it out, that's 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 on YouTube. And what about it? Disgusting and probably illegal. Thank you, Tuck. Let's, let's talk about that wokeness stuff, though. So uh, we got this from CNN Business. What? Netflix's world has been turned upside down as stock plunges 35%. I think it's actually at 37%. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to say, <clears throat> get what go broke. Indeed. Well, that's happening at Netflix. They gave... <laughs> this clip... <laughs> I mean, Temple is the master, by the way, 150,000 views in what, what, one day, one day, a couple of hours. I mean, this, this clip, man, Temple never ceases to, <laughs> to amaze me with this content. I mean, he's a bit of a dullard, you know, it's ableist to make fun of him. I get it. But he, they, they managed to pack so much insanity into this clip that I was, uh, I, was uh, uh, uh. I almost felt like how my grandfather felt. After World War II, he got his penis blown off by a grenade because he kept it in his... He wasn't properly storing them. <laughs> he wasn't properly storing them, those grenades. And they warned him many times. Luke, chief lieutenant, the lieutenant colonel, ordered him many times to stop putting the grenades there. That's happening at Netflix. They gave as much... I don't know what the actual deal was. I've seen 12. I've seen $50 million to the Obama's production operation. I had Netflix on the other day. And who was pushed at me? Barack Obama. Make pee pee. Putting out some globalist nice nonsense about parks and conservation and all of that. And, you know, I guess I'm not allowed to say anything against national parks. But the point is, it was... I have no idea who this guy is. Tim Pool digs up the wackiest characters to bring on his show. Let's just say his name is William J. Fumpwumple. He probably runs some website called like the Genetic Western Values <laughs> Association of America. But this guy, this guy's amazing, man. This guy might be the new favorite character of the thing. He starts off, everything that he says in this clip is like that. Like, this guy, I saw Obama. I saw Barack Obama on this thing. And he was saying some globalist crap about national parks. Some globalist. <laughs> He's doing so about the, well, all this globalist stuff about how we need to preserve the national parks. <laughs> I mean, of all the things, <laughs> of all the obvious things you could easily criticize Obama about, his globalism, you know, the globe, the whole globe, national parks. 
man. Well, they I, love the idea. I go back to the library cop on Seinfeld. I may be dating myself, but uh, remember he goes, you know, <laughs> what's with you, Seinfeld? You want those pictures and kids to open the book up? And is that what gets you going, Seinfeld? And I think that's what gets too many of the left going in terms of discussions of sexual activity with children. And just like that, I don't believe in slippery slopes. We, we fall off cliffs morally. <laughs> yeah, and just anyway. like that, this two, past two weeks, it's now a tenet of a major political party in this country to promote sex talk with young children. In secret. Wow. In, school, in schools. Mm-hmm. In secret. And, 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 and to me, it, that's not perfect. right. This is a radical Marxist agenda. Perverts. They want to tear us away from any competitor to their revolution. I, I mean, <laughs> this, guy's, this guy's the best. I mean, I've been watching this Tim Pool uh, crap for a long time. He's always saying something funny. This guy is is ratcheting it up to the next level. I love this. So if you don't remember what he's talking about, there was this episode in Seinfeld where this guy, it's based on this guy, the life of this guy, Gerald Steinfeld. And one of the, probably one of the greatest actors ever. Philip Baker Hall plays this like detective from the library who's tracking down Gerald. Watch the clips. They're on YouTube. Just put in library cop. A J- Jerry S- Gerald Steinfeld. That character is literally like making fun of conservatives. Sure, go ahead, laugh if you want to. I've seen your type before. Flashy, making the scene. <laughs> Flashy, making the scene. What about that kid sitting down, opening a book right now in a branch of the local library and finding drawings of peepees and wee-wees <laughs> and a cat in the hat and the five Chinese brothers? Doesn't he deserve better? Look, if you think this is about overdue fines and missing books, you better think again. This is about that kid's right to read a book without getting his mind warped. Or maybe that turns you on, Seinfeld. Maybe that's how you get your kicks. (laughs) You and your good time buddies. Well, I got a flash for you, Joy Boy. (laughs) Hell yeah, brother. Philip Baker Hall, the yeah, whatever, the greatest actor of all time. Dead. Croaked, that guy, but, you know, made some really good movies. But uh, I love that. I mean, this is like the beauty of shows like Tim Pool's show on YouTube is that there's he found a guy, a dad who kind of looks computer generated um, that he's on the side of a character that was created in Seinfeld to make fun of because he's a lunatic. Yeah, Yeah. it was authority. So so it's liberty, sanctity, which I believe is the purity. Yeah, uh, loyalty, fairness, what care and authority. Yes, and you said, and that's five though. Liberty was added. uh, Are you aware? Yeah, that was the sixth one. Yeah, libertarians only have liberty. This is amazing. Yeah, they don't care about anything other than let me do what I want, (laughs) be free. Uh, Liberals only have care and fairness. So if you're if you're saying something like children must be protected, the sanctity of of children and purity, (laughs) innocence, etc. Well, you're probably not going to be a liberal because they don't have that in their minds. They don't what? they don't understand this as a moral foundation. So when you look at the moral foundations test, there are some questions that are like outright disturbing. They're hard about like teachers and kids. I, I, I don't I mean, I don't know if I would say it's hard. You just say it's is, is that OK or not? But some of it's like, you know, an uncle. I, I did not even want to say this. I can't even say these things. Yeah. But th- th- it's remarkable what someone would have to say is OK in order to actually get listed as a liberal on thing. Because I, I get I get uh, listed as like, you know, libertarian left leaning or something like that in these yeah. in these tests. But I have a balance of, you know, I, I have care and fairness is relatively high and that kind of goes down. I'm like, that kind of makes sense, like because I'm kind of in the middle. But you look at how liberals rank and I'm like, what question did they say they were OK with? Because mm. that's kind of weird. Because they don't care about it. Well, I've said this before. Leftism is essentially a synonym for social decay. It's the word that we use to describe it. And when you Hell think yeah, about brother. values like... It's really hard to tell with these guys because they use liberal and left as the same. But yeah, we're, de- we're definitely continuing with the... <laughs> so somebody out there is a pedo... Everyone out there except for me and people I like are pedophiles, which is, of course, taking a very serious crime very, very seriously, really giving the weight to that kind of crap. Uh, that it deserves, but they're talking about this guy Jonathan Haidt, who has it's like who cares? Like honestly, it's like the most who cares. He's some guy that if you watch too many Jordan Peterson videos, you'll get suggested this guy who has something of you know it's like a almost like a political compass crap. So when he says liberals, who knows what he's talking about? But he's like, yeah, there's some stuff on this test, man. That if you're not if you're not a conservative, I guess, then it will the test shows you. 
with science that you are a child molester. It's interesting to keep in mind that uh, Tim Pool is a Trump supporter. He's like one of the big online Trump supporters. So you might want to look in to, you know, some of the Epstein stuff, uh, Tim, on that one. You know, it's sort of another another basic step you could take to understand the world, I would say. And all the other <laughs> all the other conservative Republican uh, preverts, you could look into that. But I like also in the beginning, he brings up libertarians. He's like, eh, <laughs> libertarians, man. They, yeah, I'm sort of like them. Yeah, libertarians have never been associated with kind of that kind of pervert stuff. Age of consent kind of stuff. Yeah, that's not a meme that's always been around. <laughs> with or have a monopoly over when you're talking about creative people or folks who might be willing to challenge the status quo in some way. But that's not what leftism is. That's on. That's a good Rob point. Spear, man. You made a good point. There, about there, there, there are guys down at Occupy Wall Street who, who there's like one dude who said that he, he, it was his dream to be Rob Spear. And I'm like, you know, he died. He right? got his jaw blown off and they laid him on a table. <laughs> you know, he died, right? You know, he died, right? And I'm like, you know, he died. He right? got his. You know, he died, right? Temple seems to be, again, it's like indecipherable what's going on in the show. They fill a lot of time with talking. But it's just like, whoa, whoa, it's like, it's like a chili dog or something that's like falling apart. You're just like, what? I don't, I don't even know. But he's like, um, they're kind of against the French Revolution on Tim Pool's podcast. If you watch this clip and like a bunch, and also the middle of the woods, <laughs> the middle of the woods thing was. Um, that actually is a good question because where are you going to go? Are you going to go west? Right. You go in the middle of the woods. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I mean that works. With Classic. With My why did why did they do the French Revolution? They should just should have gone in the middle of the woods. So they're kind of I guess they're pro monarchy. Okay, you know, chili dog, whatever, bro. And he's talking about that he met somebody, which I'm sure is a true story. He met somebody at Occupy Wall Street who was telling him that they were wanted to be like Robespierre from the French Revolution. <laughs> and then Tim Pool says maybe the funniest thing I ever heard. Why would you want to be like him? Don't you know he died? He died. Damn, I wanna I wanna be able to play the guitar like J J Jimi Hendrix. You know he died, right? You wanna play the guitar like Jimi Hendrix? You know he died, right? Um, I like my heroes alive, thank you. <laughs> and by the way, this is still the same video. This is still the same video where they're talking about why did Netflix the why did Netflix? Why did Net why is Netflix all messed up? And somehow we got into a rope. Robespierre who shouldn't be your hero because then he died. <laughs> who, who, what would you possibly get out of watching this? I feel like even if I wanted to hear like conservative nonsense, I would still walk away from these Tim Pool shows like just utterly confused about everything. Like, oh, so maybe the monarchy was a good thing back in the French Revolution? So li libertarians? What? Want rules more rule yeah well and i want i'll take it even further and, and be more clear about it it's not just that they want to have these conversations about sex with children that would be bad enough that would be a problem in and of itself but they want to normalize perverted sexual behaviors to children in secret it's in secret so i i th I, I, I think uh yeah tim pool, tim pool gets some rad co-hosts <laughs> Simple will get some amazing co-host on his show. If you want to check him out. That's on YouTube. That's, 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 that's on YouTube. When he says perverted sexual behavior, he means being gay. He means being gay. And I think he thinks that being gay should be illegal based on other uh, crap on this stream. And I would have to say, let's get a look at that guy. Hold on. Let's get a look at that guy. Tim Pool has been swatted a bunch of times. Like there's somebody... You know, doing this horrible prank on Tim Pool where they say, oh, there's an active shooter in my home. Come get the cops. Come. I would not be surprised if those calls were coming from in the house. Just saying. Just say, you got some. <laughs> you got some odd characters. That's all I'm saying. OK, you. You know, you associate with some weird characters. As you mentioned, ensure that when they become an adult, they are capable of providing for themselves. Uh, that said, I think when you look at Karen Fairness, as I mentioned earlier, you can call anything caring or anything fair. It's what they do all the time. I mean, look at their like tautological reasoning around the normalization of perverse behavior. Love is love. 
What does that actually mean? That sounds very caring. That sounds very fair, but it doesn't actually mean anything. You haven't explained why this is behavior that we should accept. Yeah, sex, they're like... You're right, buddy. You're right. Take, let's take a break, you know? Every once in a while on the internet, every 30 days just staring at the internet, take a 10-minute outside walk, you know? You're all right. You're going to be all right, buddy. You okay? You okay? Are you okay? <laughs> of love in the sense of selfless giving and willing the good of the other person and Guys, we've conflated it with arrows with uh Listen, the desire for sexual pleasure the reason why i didn't want to derail itself. into this yeah. philosophical argument is it was literally about lgbtq pride the stickers on snapchat was about lgbtq issues wow. and it included love has no age Yikes. All right. Disgusting. So <laughs> they're not talking about platonic love. They're or talking the, about agape, the love of the community. They're, it's like you don't know. There's different not, ways to. They're not. They're not. Perverse. They're talking about Perverse. people who want to get married to each other. That's erotic love. Yeah, erotic. Yes. That's what it's called. Yeah. Right. So we, I, don't, I don't. We don't need to. Well, start they're, they're, they're using arguments. the word love to get you to tr trick you into thinking that it's about like familial love. Right. It's but no, it's, they aren't. It's not, it's not love in the metaphysical sense. Ian. That's for sure. You 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 love to talk oh, about. Oh no! Oh no! The boss, Tim Pool, the boss, the stupidest man in the world. He's gonna lay it down for you, bro. Loves different forms. That is immaterial here to what we're talking about. <laughs> when you're talking about LGBTQ, we're talking about issues of people who want to get married and have relationships <laughs> with each other. One of the words in there is bisexual. When they say for LGBTQ positive branding, love has no age. There's no reason to elaborate beyond that. We know what they're saying. Hey, agreed. Agreed. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, you have familial. I mean, they, I, I don't know. Did a memo go out about this? How did this whole thing get started of anyone of, of just everyone's a pedophile? Gay people are all pedophile. Like, what? How did you, you guys? But he brings up this thing that I could only find like conservative, like troll websites and like conservative accounts talking about this but a while back um during pride or something like that uh snapchat wrote had some sticker that said love has no age and <laughs> and the only thing that could possibly mean tim pool just said is child molesting <laughs> pedophiles <laughs> i mean I mean, is this what this channel is going to become that I'm doing? Is just like the 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 watching videos of people call other people pedophile for no reason show. So it couldn't mean, hey, you're 30, and it is kind of taboo to maybe date somebody who's 50. If you're 30, even if you're 35 or 40, dating somebody a decade older than you is sort of like. And this this poor guy who seems relatively normal. What's this guy's name? Moondog or something? He's got some weird name. Ian. He he seems like semi-sane, but he's like, oh no. He always, he always remembers. You can see he remembers. Oh no, I'm on the Tim Pool show. I have to pretend that I'm completely out of my mind. So he's like, yeah, Tim. Number one, right, Tim? I mean, it always, like with the Snapchat thing, of course it has to have some pride LGBT uh, tie-in to to see they're all perverts man they're all perverts we're we're still living in the dark ages bro i mean what are these idiots talking about what are these idiots talking about the left in my view the organized left the extremist left i'm not talking about liberals i don't say think liberals hate children but the organized revolutionary left hates children they hate childhood they have no use for it other than as a prop perverts. for more government and more revolution so what else would you, if you hated children, what would you do? Well, you'd traumatize them with sex talk. <laughs> you'd kill them in the womb. Yep. You'd, you'd do all sorts of things that the left is doing. And, it, and it's And to the degree they talk about childhood, it's about collectively raising children. It takes right. a vital to raise a child. Uh, th this, is, this is not a child-friendly uh, <laughs> philosophy. Uh, this guy, I mean, I really do uh, get sweet old uh, elderly dad or peepaw vibes from this guy. He has no idea what he's... I, I mean, this guy, like everything he says, like contains the negation of what he's saying. Yeah, 
they re- these revolutionary left, which, what are you talking about, Bernie Sanders supporters? To him, he's probably talking about anybody who voted for Joe. Anybody who doesn't, like, rabidly support Trump. These left, these leftoids, bro. These revolutionary leftists, they're, di- they're disgusting. They hate kids. But also, they want, they think that it takes a, a village to raise kids. They think that raising kids there should have community involvement. That causes some problems for them hating kids, I would say. And actually, that's true. Like, anybody, any left, if you look at, like, the Brunig's, Matt Brunig policy crap, it's all, how can we make it easier for people to, to raise children? Who, the people who really seem to not want people to have kids are these type of morons. How can we lower, how can we lower wages, make it so that companies can do a, whatever they want, no safety nets, it, it's a, a, a ridiculously expensive to have a child. Yeah, we love kids, bro. Also, we're we have no interest in any kind of like environmental protection. Yeah, we love kids. I will not sign up for Netflix. There is nothing on Netflix I want to watch. Hey, well, let's throw it over to Elon Musk and see what he's talking about. <laughs> and I will make this point. I believe this is get well, go broke. Hey. I'll give you an example. There was a show on Netflix called The Order. That show is now gone. It got two seasons and then they canceled it because that's what Netflix does. Now, I'm not entirely convinced this show was going to save them either, but I liked this show and there was something interesting about it. The second season villains were communists, like actually communists. Like they go into the guy's house and they're like, look, and they show like books on like Marxism and stuff. And I'm like, okay, like it's refreshing to finally get a piece of content where it's like fascists aren't the bad guys. This is the funny (laughs) thing about Harry Potter. Harry Potter comes out, you know. Uh, really, dude? Really, dude? <laughs> you upload two to a uh, quarter million views. You uploaded <laughs> you uploaded that. Why are fascists the bad guys always? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, he didn't stop there, though. Here's the thing with Elon. Elon is actually doubling down. He's giving context to it. He uh, responded with some other tweets that were aimed at him. Um, This guy, uh, Pat Hole, tweeted, woke mind virus is the biggest threat to civilization. And Elon responded, yes. Niche Gamer tweeted, not just Netflix, movies in general, video games, TV. It's all infested with the current year trend woke garbage for fear of offending green haired freaks next to the ban button. And Elon replied, true. (laughs) Uh, and I think he deleted some of those tweets because he oh, may have been shocking. Drunk. Oh, shocker. <laughs> there we go. There's the guy who the, the economy is depending on right there. Elon Musk. You know, he, the, this guy. Yeah, he, he's a genius. He can't handle uh, a streaming service having shows that he doesn't like. A streaming service with Better Call Saul and all this crap, but also, you know, 17,000 other uh, crap you could watch. Yeah, I can watch some... I could watch some women in in Arizona flipping houses all day. This is the guy, man. This is the guy who's going to save the world. We're going to live on Mars. A guy who can't handle that there's shows he doesn't like on a, thi- on a thing with 17,000 other shows. These millennials and Zoomers, they are so entitled. They're so entitled. They want everything their way. Let me look. Let me look on TV. Oh, there's a thumb. So, um, <laughs> why would Elon think, Mr. Musk think, that Netflix is woke? And we just showed you a, a montage, but let me kind of rattle off a couple here. Uh, content like, he's expecting. Oh, mm, no. Dear white people, we the people, <laughs> cuties, 13th, growing up coy, welcome to, to Leith. Leith, huh? The mask you live in, this is the thing. So, yeah, he's expecting. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> There's shows I don't like on a streaming platform. <laughs> And again, I love these people. I love these. This guy's half a million views in a couple days. This guy from this, they think it's a trans show. They because they saw the cover, they're like trans. Let's go, man! Come on, let's go. Let's step up. You know, let's let's dust off those. Let's take off the pajamas, bro. And let's actually, when we're talking about something, let's watch the thing first. Let's look, or let's take a few steps. Let's watch the trailer. It's like a minute long. No, I can't do that. It's too scary. That's too close to real work for these morons. C-C-C-C-C-C-K, Louis. 
So there we go, guys. Just goofing on some troubled young men on YouTube. You know, they're kooks. They're crazy. They got problems, man. They got problems, but they like they like this. So they'll keep. They have incentive to keep. They have incentive to keep doing this. And it's this. So, guys, this has been Pablo with another report. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Oh man, let me check. Let me check the calendar. Oh, oof! It's Monday. You know, one of the, I don't like it, man. I don't want to start over. We hate it. We're disgusted by it. And frankly, we want it to die. That's Monday. So, guys, thank you so much. Have a good week, you know. Don't forget to... It is a little bit weird. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. You're only getting a fraction of the weekly shows. If you want a new mother episode every day, subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. You get the patron-only Tuesday and Thursday shows, the book Blega show where we look at important books, and the goddamn weekly behind-the-scenes show. And for only 25 bones, you could become a producer and get your name up here. Look at these people. These people make this show possible. If it, wa if it wasn't for them, nothing. We don't have a show. We got nothing. And it's, go and it's garbage. garbage. And we have to just leave. We have to just basically walk away. And we don't even really know where we're walking. That's, that's, that's the truly troubling part about all this. But please, become a patron today. For as little as two bones or, if you, or five bones is another level or ten. Or you go the full 25 and you get up here. Big special thanks to these people. Love you guys. Love you guys so much.